Hey guys, Jamstripe here and welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be doing a bit of like a, a test and a review for Green Stuff World Candy Ink. Now they do different colours like blues and all that kind of stuff, but I've gone for ruby red because you know candy red is, is always the best. Now if you don't know what candy colour is, it's basically like a metallic version of the colour, if that makes any sense. It's like with cars and stuff like that, it would normally have like a, a glittery sheen, sheen underneath with like a nice red on top or something. So for this process, what you have to do is, you can do this by hand, but I'm going to be using an airbrush because it apparently comes out smoother anyway. What you got to do is you got to put a metallic coat down on all of your model. So it can be silver or gold or whatever you want. Eat different colors you use have different tones. But I've gone for silver, just a nice, I think silver is probably a bit more neutral, whereas like gold will give you a bit more of like a, a warm color. So I'm going to be spraying the silver on, and when that's dry, I'll be doing a couple coats of this on top. So it still has that metallic shine because it's kind of transparent and glossy. So yeah, should come out quite cool. But what I'm going to do is, because I like I said, this is a test video, I'll be doing different types of things. So first, I'm going to start with just going super light silver. This is called Quicksilver from Green Stuff World. So I'm going to go super light, then do the candy ink on it. Then I'm going to do one just with the gunmetal, a bit of a darker one. Then I'm going to do the darker one with a nice zenithal of this. So it's just like a spray from above. So the light kind of hits it a bit more. And then for the last one, I'm going to kind of go for almost like our normal painting method. So when you're painting, you know, you do edge highlighting and chipping and all that kind of stuff. And I don't know how that would really work on top of a candy ink. You can't exactly like put black chipping on afterwards. I don't really think that would work well. So with one of these, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edge highlight with like a, a much lighter silver and I'm going to just do some quick like black specks and stuff like that. And then I'm going to spray the ink on it. So because obviously if you want your army to have a bit more detail and not just be like a flat surface. Yeah. And, and obviously I'm using orcs for this, these tests because I just had some of these like easy to build old orcs lying around. I would have used space marines because it'd probably be a better, better example to be honest. But I just can't be bothered to strip them and stuff when I'm done. Whereas these are I'm probably never going to use these guys. So I can just leave them the way it is. It saves me the hassle. Anyway, so I'm going to get started. What I'm going to do quickly is I'm just going to prime these guys up black. I don't think they really need like a zenithal of white or anything like that. So yeah, I'll get back to you guys when that's done. All right, guys, so I've got everything primed up and ready to go. I've got my first darker gunmetal silver in there. So I'm going to prime up. I think it's three of them. I'm going to prime up with this first and then we'll move on to the lighter silver and stuff like that. So yeah, I quickly base coated all the, the models that needed the darker silver. And I just, a heads up, this is one of the first times I'm using a proper airbrush silver through my airbrush. And it was super smooth and nice. So if you do have an airbrush and you're looking for a nice dark silver, then yeah, definitely go to Green Stuff World and check out their gunmetal grey. That's a really nice color, super smooth. Alrighty, so I'm going to be doing the just the bright silver one and then some zenith little highlights of this bad boy. So yeah, let me get that on and get back to you guys again. All right, so I'm going to shake up my candy ink over here and get started with the actual fun stuff. So I've done all my different variants of like silver, zenithals, all that kind of stuff. And then when I'm done, I'll show you which is which. And then you guys can kind of decide if you kind of like the effect that this gives as well. All right, hopefully you guys can probably see after one thickish coat, it's starting to change. It's got a bit of like a pink tone to it, but I do know they said that you need to do quite a few coats for it to like build up that red color. So I'm going to let that set for a bit and I'm going to do like a coat on all of them and then come back to this one. All right, that's the one on the super bright silver. And I can feel like the, I don't know if... Maybe I've put the coats on thicker or it's because it's the shinier silver. But it's definitely looking a lot more red than the other one. But, but my uh, airbrush is clogging up a bit now. I think between doing loads of metallics and this stuff. Yeah, probably going to have to clean this out in a second. But yeah, that's actually looking pretty shiny red so far. So I'm going to try and crack on with the rest. Alrighty guys, so we're done. 
Now that took me a lot longer than I expected. And one quick tip, if you do like the results of all this testing and stuff like I've done today, if you are plan planning on painting an army this way, you're going to need to buy a lot of parts. I think I used like almost half or at least like just over a quarter of the entire little part so on these four test models and that's because and another tip here don't do like nice little thin coats like you would normally do out of an airbrush to get a nice even layer you just absolutely blast this on make it look really wet and it kind of like self levels out but anyway so that's just some quick tips that i learned going through this but let's go through what i did with this one so this was the shiny silver like the bright one just that on its own so as you can see it's a uh, quite light i mean i probably could have gotten a, like an extra layer or two on these to be honest you can still see the silver under there but it's kind of the effect i don't know if that's too bright all right i just turned up the lighting i don't know if that helps it stand out a bit more or not maybe it's too strong but yeah so that's the the super light one let's move it a bit further away from the camera yeah i think it looks pretty decent it's probably not my favorite one out of the lot doesn't seem to have much depth to it but i do think this like style of paint obviously it's for like armor plating not like skin and all that stuff so it's not the greatest test model but if you look at like the sword here you can kind of see the effect it gives and it definitely will work really really well on like space marines or care space marines so models that are 90 percent one color basically so yeah that's the the light silver yeah i did drop these a couple times in because it's like really sticky when it's wet like peel the layer off so some of them are a bit messy next up is the darker color so this was like the gunmetal gray color and i think this might be one of my favorite ones a lot it definitely looks a lot darker and richer yeah i really really like the vibe on this one so this is like i said a dark silver and like i said at the beginning of the video you can use golds as well if you kind of want like a a richer like warmer version of this if you know what i mean so yeah that's just the the darker one really like that one i really like the outcome of that yeah that's that bad boy then this was the zenithal one so what i did was i primed it in the gunmetal gray then i hit it from above with the quicksilver the really like bright silver uh, see there you can see on the trousers i ripped a layer off that i don't know let me know if you guys can see if you can if there's a difference with the zenithal light is it is it really that different and by the way these aren't as like shiny and stuff in person i think it's the between the lighting and the camera they look extremely glossy and stuff and i think the color looks a lot more red and like richer in person yeah i think i can maybe see the zenithals but yeah i think that like bright silver was really powerful so yeah and like i said before if you're looking for a really nice airbrushing silver those went straight through no watering down thinning out or anything like that came out really really smooth really nice silvers yeah but anyway this is the one where i did a bit of everything on this a base of gun metal, a zenithal primed it from sil uh, with the light silver. And then, because this is kind of like my attempt at like normal painting, what I did was I washed it with non oil on the silver. Because, you know, you kind of want those recesses to be a bit darker. Then I kind of dry brushed it quickly with Necron compound just so the, the edges can be a bit lighter. And then just for a nice little test. Oh, always dropping models. For a test, I kind of put in, well, very, very rough thick chips and stuff like that just so you can kind of get a vibe obviously it's not very no one's going to do it that big it doesn't look great especially not there but i put some little black like spots and chippy kind of vibes here and there just to so you can kind of see how it might work coming through the red so obviously if you wanted to do it you'd do it a lot neater than that but yeah you can see the chips you can see where it was like darker from the null oil yeah i think i think this might actually if I was going to do this for an entire army, I'd probably do this way. So you get your kind of depth in your shadows and stuff like that, like you normally would with a wash. So yeah, definitely I think the the darker color or this one with the null oil and the, the highlighting. And obviously if you want to put in some chipping, it will work as well. Yeah, I think it was a pretty fun test to be honest. Like I said, it took quite a while because it takes like, yeah, I, I don't know if I mentioned as well. Every single one of these was about three heavy coats like i said absolutely just blast it just get this thing absolutely drenched obviously i don't mean literally get it dripping but yeah give it a proper good blast it levels out gets all nice and shiny i probably could do another level level or two to get it even more rich so yeah i really really like that and another thing you because this is quite tacky and stuff if you do do this 
you're going to have to varnish it afterwards so it doesn't like chip off or stick to anything. So you can go for a glass varnish if you want to keep the nice shiny feeling. Or I, for me personally, I'm going to go for like a satin. So it has that shiny vibe, but it's a lot more matted down. I think it'll smooth everything out really nice. So yeah, I think it was a really, really interesting color. I wouldn't mind doing some like Chaos Space Marines in this kind of vibe, like say with the, the darker colors and stuff. So yeah, that might, might be a possibility for the future. All right, and a quick thing before you guys disappear. Next week, I'm going to be doing Test of Darth Blue, which is like a really nice color shifting kind of pearlescent dark blue. It looks really, really nice. So I'm going to be testing this one out for next week. Definitely stay tuned for that. So you can see even when I turn that, it kind of has a different vibe. But as always, guys, if you enjoy this kind of hobby content and you want to see some more, then maybe check out my channel and subscribe. Comment down below what you think of this kind of candy ink and the different results I got, which one do you prefer out of the different colors and techniques. And yeah, until then, guys, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.